at the core, what you're doing, you're using spiking neural networks. So that has been um, under development for, for decades and it's nothing new. Okay. But some of the techniques that you're using that are novel is that you're using um, a genome data structure that actually encodes features of the brain. And we are going through a developmental process that develops the brain in stages. So we are accounting for temporal encoding, and we are accounting for the, the element of time. Uh, we are enabling robots to be able to have lifelong learning. And uh, neuroplasticity, for example, plays a big role in teaching robot different yeah. traits. And so neuroplasticity for people listening uh, in a person is like the ability to change your brain by learning something. Yes, our, our brains are plastic and constantly changing and the, the connection between neurons are uh, not constant. So as we grow up, uh, the number of neurons change, the number of connections between neurons change, and the, the strength of connectivity between neurons are changing all the time. So, so how do you represent that in your, in your code base? I mean, it's, I guess I can understand like coefficients maybe representing the strength of connection, but to the extent that you can change the actual connections, I mean, that seems incredibly challenging to do. There's a lot of dynamics, of course, and um, we have a proprietary data structure that we've created that captures the essence of the brain. We call it the connectome. So we, we start from a genome and then we end up with a connectome. That connectome captures the essence of the brain in terms of all the uh, neurons and synapses and all the weight, weights and other parameters that are involved. And uh, similar to the bi biological brain, there are so many physiological processes that are in play in our system. Like yeah. we have concept of neurodegeneracy, for example. We have uh, neurons leaking. <laughs> and membrane potential. Um, so all but that's these, a real thing. Yes. So so that okay. that's inspired from how the neurons work. 